Hello, BP. Just want to show you a quick look of our veggie patch. There's the radishes coming up nicely. Also, our potatoes getting real tall, almost waist high now. Or hip high, not waist yet, almost. Let's see. Today I planted some sunflower seeds along the fence here. Thank you, Mr. John Van Hook and Miss Susie for the sunflower seeds. Didn't get to plant them last year, but put them up this year. All right. Also, let's do a span over here right quick and look at our corn that's coming up nicely. That's not going to do any good to have two together, so let's go ahead and pull that one out. And there's a row, whole row coming up. There. All right. Quick look at the patch. Uh oh, somebody's working. Let's go see what he's doing. Hello, my love. Hello. What are you doing? I'm uh, I'm raking in the amendments that we put on. Um, two days ago, we. Uh, we brought back the patch, and uh, it's very tempting now to grab a tiller to rake them in, or to uh, till them in, I'm sorry, yeah. to, to, uh, to keep some of the structure in the fall. We decided to uh, not till, not do a final till, instead just raking the amendments in and top, and later, later on we'll water them in. Um, you can see the soil is pretty dry on top. Underneath it's uh, a little bit moister though. I can, you can see the soil gets darker here. There is moisture. We'll uh, water the top amendments in. And then uh, uh, we're close to being finished. Today we put some uh, uh, calcium nitrate in. You can see the white dots. We put some uh, additional gypsum on. And we put some uh, uh, humic acid on, uh, on pallets. Um, we're just about done with adding amendments. Uh, very happy with the structure, with the way the soil turned out. And then just uh, just a word to my uh, to my good friend Norm. Norm, I'm working again. Uh, I've yet to see you work. I mean, uh, I see a lot of pictures, but. Pictures are for posers, buddy. So I dare you to put a video online. Um, next week, or maybe the week after, we'll be uh, planting our melons. They're under the grow lights at home as we speak. And uh, uh, we'll keep you posted as we go. Um, Tina, why don't you show them the tomatoes for a little bit? Okay, sure. Let me walk over there. Now, uh, making good use of the walking boards this year. Trying not to compact the soil even right from the beginning, which is always good. Walk this way. Trying not to step on the corn because it's very close to the edge there. All right, here's a. Tomatoes are coming up nicely. They're almost waist or hip high. Growing fast. Um, today I'm going to feed and take care of the leaves a little bit by spraying them with some seaweed and some neem oil. I'm not going to spray that one yet because it's still a little bit in the sun. Make sure you get up under the leaves that you're on top. As you can see, we have some little the little white specks are the dimple dust to keep the bugs off also. And did I spray you my nose? Yes, you did. I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Alright, that gives you an idea of what to Oh, you're going to show my double bloom. Here's Tina's double bloom. Opened, and I'll wait and see if it, uh, if it took. Alright. Another thing I'm doing today is putting on some root shield. And root shield uh, contains uh, the trichoderma, um, 
the fungi that uh, eats uh, other fungi, eats the bad guys more or less. Also in here I have some calcium or some powder milk to help give the tomato plants some, some uh, calcium. I use a one to eight ratio. One part water, one part calcium. So we're not so we're not uh, 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 watering the plants with regular milk. We're using a powdered milk, which fat has uh, uh, no fats in it and uh, which uh, uh, has uh, antifungal properties. Uh, it helps against some of the bad guys uh, on the leaf. It will change uh, the pH on the leaf, making it uh, less susceptible to mildews. Um, it won't ha harm the trichoderma though. Uh, the trichoderma, uh, let me say that before, we're not using uh, mycorrhiza on these plants. There might be a, a tiny bit in a uh, all-purpose uh, uh, fertilizer we used in the, in the planting holes, but uh, uh, not wise to inoculate plants at the same time with trichoderma and uh, mycorrhiza because they're uh, they're basically competing for the same spot around the plant, those roots. Uh, so a tip uh, for the newer growers. Uh, uh, they can coexist in a root zone together, but uh, inoculating them together at the same time, uh, just not the best idea. That's about it, my love. I don't really have... Just waiting on the blooms to see what they took. Do some more pruning maybe next week. All right. Little disclaimer: uh, uh, there might be some experts uh, checking out these videos. Um, uh, we garden uh, uh, like we, uh, you know, like we want to, like we think is correct, like we think is gonna work here in South Carolina. Um, it might man, might not be the way you garden up north or somewhere else in the south. So uh, uh, we're voicing our opinions about gardening. We're showing you our way of gardening. We're not saying that this is the way to go or the way to uh, grow tomatoes or amend, but just the way we do it. Last look at my plants. And then here the patch. Walking boards are out. Amendments are uh, just about all tilled in. Um, raked in, I'm sorry. And uh, all we need to do now is water them in a little bit. And then uh, somewhere next week or the week after, depending on how the plants develop, uh, uh, in these uh, middle squares, we'll be planting uh, our two melons. Um, 255 Mitchell, uh, uh, somewhat of a top seed in melon growing, grew some very big uh, melons and uh, came up perfectly, very vigorous. Uh, next to that, we'll do uh, one of Brother Dave's uh, 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 melon seeds, is 165B, which grew him a really nice uh, pumpkin. melon last year. Uh, very promising seed in, uh, in our opinion and uh, those are going to go in there alright well as the gnats are eating me up and uh, the sun is slowly setting uh, we wish you a happy growing and uh, we'll keep you updated uh, from our uh, sunny patch here in South Carolina Tina Hi, South Carolina over and out